Here's how to really cash in on this year. Number one, get serious. Life is serious. We call it life or death. Somebody asked me one time if I had a good description of life. I said, yes, I think I've got a good one. Life is the struggle to keep death at a respectable distance. Death seems to want to move in prematurely, prematurely. If you want to live a good, long, flourishing life, you've got to push back. You can't just give in, you've got to push back. And we're dealing with some serious matters here. So we can't just, you know, tell the latest 10 jokes and just go home. We're not here to entertain. We're here to instruct, we're here to grow, we're here to learn. We're here to get the best we possibly can. Serious. Life is serious. The future is serious. One ancient novelist said, these are the best of times and these are the worst of times. And for some of those who came across this platform at the extravaganza, million dollar a year incomes, for them, it's the best of times. But I want you to know that while they're getting the diamonds and the millions, there are a lot of people around the world, for them, it is the worst of times. The best of times and the worst of times. That's called serious matter. How come such a difference from those who can reach such incredible heights and those who haven't yet found the answers for their life and their health and their future? We just have to ponder that and let that give us a note of seriousness, a note of seriousness. It's serious whether you win or lose. It's serious whether you succeed or fail. It's serious whether you've got a good future carved out for yourself or you do not have. These are serious matters. Matters of the heart are serious. Matters of income are serious. Matters of supporting your family, serious. Are you serious? Why? We've got a serious matter here to discuss. We haven't come with the latest 10 stories. We've come with a serious matter. And I want you to take on that serious tone. You've got some serious products that answer a serious need out there in the marketplace. And I'm asking you to take it serious. Take your own future serious. What you can do for your family, take it serious. Here's number two, get smart. That's what these journals are for. That's what pad and pencil's for. That's what taking notes is for. See if you can't increase your ability to comprehend ideas, information that can be life transforming. Don't miss the opportunity to learn. Take a good key phrase home, use it in your training. Don't be lazy in learning. Don't be casual in learning. Get smart. Here's a couple of parts to it. Number one, your own personal experience. Right? If you've had a bad week, just sit down and ponder that for a while. Study it. See if you can't pick up some ideas from a poor week and then make a better week. Okay. Learn from your own experiences. One way to learn to do it right is do it wrong. I mean, you know, that's one way to learn to do it right. Do it wrong. Now the key is don't let it take too long. If you've done it wrong for a year, we suggest that's long enough. You don't need... Another year just to prove a point. No, one year is enough. Learn from your own experience, right? The possibility for life change starts with education. Don't be lazy in learning. Don't be lazy in picking up the ideas. Don't be lazy in learning from your own experience. Learning is the beginning of wealth. Learning is the beginning of life change. Some people want to start with motivation. You don't start with motivation. Somebody says, just motivate this guy, he'll be all right. The answer is no, probably not. If a guy's an idiot, you motivate him, now you've got a motivated idiot. <laughs> so education, get smart, don't miss the training class. You say, well, I've already been to one of those classes. I've already heard it. I've got a good phrase for you to take home. That's no sign you got it. Just because you've listened to those millionaire tapes one time is no sign you've got it. I'm asking you to listen to them over and over and over. I'm asking you to dedicate yourself to a new level of learning. Study, learn, grow, change, develop. Never let it be said you didn't learn, right? If you want to solve your problems, you got to learn. If you want to take advantage of an opportunity, you got to learn. Here's number three. Get going. You got to get going. You got to take action. The disciplines is the miracle process. And here's how to get the miracle of your future going as far as disciplines are concerned. Number one, do what you can. You might go home and set a whole new pace for yourself and 
We call it cleaning up neglect. Should walk around the block, could walk around the block for your good health. Don't walk around the block. See, you're on the wrong track. Should read, could read, don't read on the wrong track. Should call, could call, don't call on the wrong track. Could change, should change, don't change. You're on the wrong track. Letters you haven't written, conversations you haven't had with your family, somebody you should sit down with when you get back home, get that job done. Don't let neglect destroy your days, destroy your life, and destroy your future. Go back and do what you can. And if you'll do what you can, then life will give you some extraordinary things to do. We all pity the man, right? Wants to stride out of his house, go straighten out the corporation, has not yet straightened out his garage. You've got to take care of the small disciplines before life will give you a chance to handle the more complicated disciplines. Do not disregard the smallest of disciplines. Let us not neglect. Do not neglect the smallest of disciplines and build on that foundation and you can have everything you could possibly want. Okay? Get going. Here's number four. Get better. There isn't any of us that can't get better. So turn on this whole idea of personal development and personal growth. That was what my teacher shared with me that changed my life. I'm telling you, for things to get better, you got to get better. Don't ask for it to change out there. Ask for you to change here. Don't ask for a more favorable wind. We call that naive. Don't ask for better seed, better soil. This is the only planet you got. Just ask that you can get wiser and stronger and better be able to take care of your own responsibilities. Get better. Just make a list of that trio of words. Wiser, stronger, better. Go home smarter than you came. Go home with more ideas than you came with. Next, get stronger. You can develop the muscle. You can develop the courage muscle. You can develop the inspiration muscle. You can develop the dedication muscle. You can get stronger. There isn't anybody here that can't get stronger. Next time we see you, may not even recognize you, how strong you're going to be able to become in language, style, personality, the ability to cope, the ability to handle with anything that happens, no matter what happens. And the third one is get better. We can all get better. I've gotten better. First talk I gave, I stood up. My mind sat back down. But here's the secret to my success. I stood up and did it again. Stood up and I did it again. And I did it again and I did it again all those many years ago. I did it when I was scared and I did it when I didn't want to and I did it when I was ill. And I did it when it didn't work well. And I didn't did it when they didn't appreciate it. And I didn't a lot of times when I didn't know much what I was doing. I just did it anyway. And now all these years later, I'm asked to walk on this stage the greatest introduction I've ever had, the greatest response and welcome I've ever had, the greatest opportunity I've ever had to touch this many lives with a mixture of words and heart and soul. I got better. I got better day by day and week by week and month by month. And I'm asking you to do the same thing until you can develop a long arm and a long reach, until you can develop influence that won't quit. Touch people next year you couldn't touch this year. Touch people now you couldn't touch before. Conduct a meeting now you couldn't conduct before. Heart and soul now mixed in there that wasn't there, missing before. I'm asking all of you to get better in spite of the winter, in spite of the downturn, the money downturn, the social downturn, the personal downturn, whatever it is. Just get stronger. Get better.